Don't judge me. Or judge me, I don't care. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new and this is the first time that you're seeing my face, hi, my name's Jordan. It would mean so much to me if you click that subscribe button, so do so if you haven't already. What is that song? Oh, I wish you were gay. First question is how does poetry help you with things like personal struggles and mental illness? So if you didn't know, I do spoken word poetry. I was on the slam team with my school last year, not on it this year. Um, I have two poems uploaded on my YouTube channel. One of them is called, We Will No Longer Be Your Toys. That one is the most viewed video on my YouTube channel. I'm very proud of it. So if you haven't seen those two spoken word poems, go watch them. Poetry is kind of like a diary to me and it's like, Therapy. So I get to write out all my thoughts and feelings into this beautiful poem in a way for me to understand what I'm feeling a little better. And then in doing so, I can help other people understand what they're feeling. And just knowing that I'm making somebody else feel better makes myself feel better. Listening to other people write poems and perform poems about the same things that I go through is so beautiful. It is the way that I heal myself, it is the way that I figure out the problems in my life and what I need to do about it, it is the way that I can help other people, it is the way that people can help me. I'm aware that I'm wearing a different shirt, I just thought it would be kind of funky. Funky? Dancing? You ain't even seen dance until you you've seen, seen Funky, funky Ricky. <laughs> You know, I just wanted to change shirts for every question I answer, okay? Don't judge me. Or judge me, I don't care. These questions were so long ago, somebody asked favorite thing about Christmas. It is currently the middle of March. But my favorite thing about Christmas is probably all the traditions and just like getting together with family. Oh, and the cute accessories and like clothes and just photo shoots. Your girl loves a cute photo shoot. Do you make money off YouTube or do you have to have more subs? So I watched a video a while ago of like a smallish YouTuber, not small like me, like I think she has like 100k now, um, and she talked about how she makes money and stuff and she had said that you have to hit 10k views on your YouTube channel like in total and it didn't matter how many subscribers you had, but once I hit 10k views and I went to like monetize myself, it like didn't work. So... I really honestly don't know. I'm gonna try again sometime because maybe it just didn't load. It didn't like understand that I had hit 10k views, but um, I'd love to make some money off this, but I'd also keep doing it if I didn't make money. Are you planning on doing something to your hair again? So if you didn't know, for the longest time since like 8th grade I think, I did like ombre brown to light blonde, and then last spring I dyed my hair blue, loved it. It's still coming out in some places. You can't tell on camera, but if you're really up close in the sun, you can kind of see some green underneath because it's faded out. Um, and that looks like this. And then I cut it short in the summer after the blue had faded. Um, I really loved my hair blue. I think it looked really good. But it also killed my hair, and my hair was like dead and just split ends. It was not a good time. So I've done a lot of things to my hair over the years. I'm just going to let my hair breathe for right now. I might cut it short soon. So when I said soon, I meant like two days after I filmed that video, <laughs> um, I cut like all the blonde off. There's still some blonde, but it's pretty much all gone, so. I look like Dora. Okay, back to the video. What do you aspire to be when you're older? I have always wanted to be an actress, and that is <laughs> pretty much case in point right there. Although, it would be cool to be known on YouTube and known as like an influencer, but definitely an actress on a show or a movie or something. So, if you know any like talent agencies or something, you know, send them a headshot of me. Those are the questions I have. Why did I just go like British Southern? Those are the questions I have. Those are the questions I have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe as always, as well as turn the bell notification on. I love you all. Goodbye.
Thank you.